His man's going to buddy head. Brian made from scratch, right? Every from single scratch, part. Everything. 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 I don't make the bolts, I modify them. No, but you uh, know, everything that is on here from your stuff, head. Bearings and stuff, I'll, I'll, I'll use them if I can buy them straight. The spark plugs, I get, you know, you can buy them. But I made the exhaust pipes. The, hey, the gas pulleys tank. Are, the pulleys, are, the, the cogs are modified. Let me get the back. Let me see that distributor. Look at that little bitch. Pretty now, cool. if you notice the firing order, it's based on an eight cylinder. Yeah. So it fires, fires, skips, fires, skips, skips, fires, yeah, and skips. Huh. Because of the V4. Hmm. It's two opposed crank journals. Hmm. Very cool. Let me get around the front when you start it. Yeah, okay, buddy. I gotta flip it around. To start oh it. So man! On the other side. Little exhaust pipes you made. Look at them. Incredible. Yeah, I, I managed to snake them up underneath this arm. These springs here are extra springs because I was getting uh, valve flow. Well, yeah. I, I was I getting read. valve flow. There you go. You think of everything. Look at it. Uh, He's even got a. Uh, there's the petcock. Gas gauge. There's a petcock. This is the float down here. That should be filling up with gas. Should be. Yes, man. Got a vent on the tank. Yeah, the tank is vented. I just felt raindrop. Yeah, there we go. There you go. There you go. We got fuel now. In there. There we go. Start to float up. Start to float up. That was quite a bit to get that to function and seal off without overblowing. Right. Get a little primer. Bad design flaw, all these wires in the way of the... Yeah. <laughs> saying you wouldn't have built it like that there? No, no. Oh, I, <laughs> I wouldn't have built it. Yeah, I know. Idiot. Come on, nobody knows this engine better than you. Yeah, I know. Contact, make sure I don't have a battery came out. I like that, Mike. You see that? Yeah. You make the base too? Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Why is it prototype? Let me get a look at it. Last night, right? Start the drawer up. See the drawer. Shades of last night. We got a spark there. Hold that part. Yeah, just just yeah. hold that right on a piece of metal there. That's pretty cool. The way you hit that in there. Okay, push that, Mike. No, we can't because they're holding it down. Oh, okay. I heard it click. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, there's a little spark. Not really heavy. Hmm. Alright, let's figure this out and we'll get back.
go. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Terrible. Very Excellent. cool. Yeah, yeah it's the worst, worst turning engine I've it's ever built. Made every right, single part, even the, the shroud and everything. Let me see that box of parts, Brian. I'm a the artist. Oh, Lord. Do you buy that, Mike? You know what I do? No. Change the tool, man. Are you going to have a V8 now? Nope. Made every single piece of these. Look at what you're doing here. Look at the pistons. You're sick, man. Look at the size of that compared to my thumb. Now, what was that point you were That's incredible. Let me see the rings, Brian. All machine. You made the yeah, rings all, for it? All machines. It's it's visible, look, look, look at these rings. That's an oil ring. That's an oil ring. That's incredible. Wow. You got the grooves in it and everything. Yep. The oil. Incredible, buddy. Did you do that with a pen knife? I did it with a, uh, with a hacksaw. Mm. It's incredible. Yeah. Here's another one he's working on now. That uh, atmospheric intake. And this, these are the pistons for this motor. They're also very similar to the pistons in this motor over here. This only has uh, two uh, compression rings, no oil control. So that's been modified slightly. The uh, uh, deck height from the wrist pin hole is, is modified slightly. The uh, center distance on the the rod is uh, is slightly different. Very cool. But it's the same, same size bore and the same size stroke as that, so this would be a 50 cc engine also. Pretty cool, I'm like, man. Yep, that's incredible. Uh, it's utilized this uh there's a, uh, an idler gear between the pinion gear and the cam gear. And between the idler gear and the pinion gear, it functions as a pump to uh, pump oil up to the cam. Uh, dries oil through the cam to uh, uh, a couple of holes for uh, spitting oil out onto